Hello everybody, hi. Um, I am live in the World of Chalk Paint group this morning. Um, well, it's morning here. Um, possibly not morning where you are, because as the title suggests, it is World of Chalk Paint. So um, let me know where you're watching from and, and where you are today. Um, so I'm based in the UK. Um, I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. And I'm going to be speaking to you a little bit today about a couple of the products that Dixville do, um, showing you a project that I've got that's almost finished. Um, I don't normally show projects at this stage. Then normally I do a live on sort of the earlier stages, if you like. So I won't be painting today, uh, but the product that I'm going to be using is Big Mama's Butter. Um, that's what it looks like. And it is a fabulous project, prod, product, project, product. So, a couple of little things about Big Mama's Butter. Um, it is an oil-based product, first off. So, it is not water-based, like a lot of the other um, products in the Dixie Bell line. So, it's oil-based. Um, it is made up of a um, couple of different things, but in here is basically a tin of goodness. And I wish you guys could smell it because it smells awesome. It smells so lovely. Um, if you're watching, say hi. Don't leave me hanging on my own. I know it's on a bit of an odd time for a lot of you, but I'm in the UK and it's 11am here. So it's sort of, sort of late morning. Um, so in this tin... Um, is basically a load of gorgeousness. So there's hemp oil seed in here, hemp seed oil, get it right. Um, we have also uh, coconut oil in here, which is um, a gorgeous product. Pro product. Um, there is also, and I can never say this, carnauba, carnauba, carnauba oil, uh, carnauba wax in here. It comes in two different sizes. It comes in a four ounce and a 10 ounce. This is the 10 ounce. It lasts a long time and it's not like a hard wax. It's quite a soft, hence the name, I suppose, a butter. Um, it's quite a soft, can you see? It's almost, it just sort of melts away. It's a soft wax. Um, it's it's eco-friendly, it's all natural product. Um, it blocks odor which is amaze balls for using on the inside of your product. What is with me today? Too much caffeine, I think. On the inside of your projects, awesome stuff. Because if you've got something that's vintage or pre-loved, sometimes obviously there's a bit of history, you can have scuff marks or it might just need freshening up. It doesn't necessarily always need painting. I don't normally paint the inside of my pieces, but unless they're really sort of damaged. Um, so this is great, way up, it's alive. This is great for a, just sort of like a, a freshen up of, of pieces um, on the interior. Um, it also can be used, it can be used on its own over the top of wood grain. It really, really enhances wood grain, but it can be used over the top of paint as well to seal paint. So um, if you struggle with darker colors, um, you know, sort of dark blues, greens, grays and blacks, um, this is fabulous because it sort of soaks into the paint um, and you don't get any issues that you might, if you struggle with top coating, darker colours, you don't get it with this and it buffs off gorgeous. It leaves a gorgeous, gorgeous sheen. Um, so the other use you can use it for is furniture glides. So if you've got some sticky drawers, you can just run a little bit of this, either with your finger or with a rag or a sponge. You can run it along the glides and um, it just makes them super smooth instead of sort of sticky and <laughs> So that's fabulous. Um, like I say, it, um, it's an all natural, eco-friendly product. And it also protect, protect, protects against mildew, which is also amazing. So uh, basically, like I say, it's a, it's a tin of gorgeousness. This is one of my favourite products that Dixie Belle sell. And that's a tough call because I love them all, but I do absolutely love this. Um, now, I'm going to show you how to apply it, but a little bit first about the piece behind me. So you may or may not know that Dixie Belle have a new product line called Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. Um, this piece is sort of 97% finished. 
This is Dixie Belle Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint. So I'll just give you um, a little peek at that. Thought I'd show you the piece that the, the product, the products that I've painted this in. This is um, a mid-century piece. I'll just move the camera slightly back so you can see. Can you see there? It's super cute. I love it. It's got really cute little legs which I've sanded back. Left the exposed wood on there. Really cute original handles. Um, and I've just gone for a one colour block finish which silk lends itself perfectly to. Um, so it's not, it's not the same as the chalk mineral paint. It's got a built-in stain blocking primer. It's got a built-in top coat. And like I say, it's got this gorgeous smooth finish. Can you see if I bring you in a little bit closer? It is a fab, fab piece. So say hi if you're watching. Say hello. Don't leave me hanging on my own. Let me know what time it is, where you're watching from. Um, like I say, if you miss me at the start of the video, I'm um, I'm Connie. I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bill Paint and I'm based in the UK. Um, I also, while you're watching, I have a giveaway on my Facebook page for some Dixie Bell products. So if you click the link above my head where it says Faf Designs, if you go over to my Facebook page, um, find the pin post and you can enter. It doesn't matter where you are, as long as we can get Dixie Bell Paint to you you're eligible to enter and I'm also running the same competition on my Instagram page so if you want to enter twice you could go on both platforms and you can enter enter twice if you want um so that's silk it's amazing now currently you can only get silk from elite retailers in the US if you're elsewhere in the world it's slightly different so elite retailers only in the US for a short while I think the 3rd of March is the date that it's going to be on the Dixie Bell website, I believe. Um, if you're in Australia, you can buy it from a Dixie Bell retailer. And if you're in Europe and the UK, you can also buy it from your Dixie Bell uh, stockists. Um, and lots of them do ship out as well. So um, go on the link where it says find your local retailer and it will show you basically where you can find silk if you wanted to purchase it. Um, but back to Big Mama's book because that's what I wanted to show you today. So this is pretty much done. Um, I'm not top coating it because it doesn't need it because silk has that top coat built in. And once it's cured after 30 days, it's wipeable. So if you spill something on it, you can just wipe it off. Um, it's it's a real tough product. Once it's past its 30 day cures, it's a, it's a real tough product. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all about anything that I am talking to today, because you're all quiet. You're all really quiet. You're not giving me any love or anything. Um, so uh, let me know if you've got any comments or questions or show me some love or just say hi. Because I, I don't like talking to myself. I like uh, I like talking to people. So, like I say, this little piece behind me, it's a little sideboard is what we call them in the UK. Um, <clears throat> so, let me show you the inside. So, it's got this nice sort of mid-century, classic mid-century, warm-toned wood. Let me just turn my lighting up a bit so you can see. There we go. So it's got a nice warm tone wood. Now I actually quite like this with the contrast of the pink. I actually quite like it. So um, I'm gonna keep it, but it just needs a bit of a freshen up. So this is when your big mama's butter comes into play. So this stuff just glides on. It's just yummy. And like I say, I wish you could smell it because it smells gorgeous. This particular scent that I have is called Orange Grove. It's very fresh and citrusy. It comes in unscented and it also um, comes in a scent called Suzanne's Garden, which is a, a more floral smell. This one's Orange Grove, which is my favourite. Um, would you let a piece go that hasn't cured? Yes, Lorraine, I do. Um, I quite often sell things relatively quickly. Not always. Some stuff I have that's... Um, just waits for it, the right owner, I suppose. But I have let pieces go that haven't been cured. Um, the the best thing to do is just let your customer know. Um, I normally give customers the option. So I'll just say, look, I only painted this last week or I actually sold a turquoise sideboard the other week that I'd finished. It sold in 24 hours. And my customer, you know, I said to her, look, I'm more than happy to hold on to this for you for a couple of weeks because the paint doesn't fully cure for 30 days. 
Um, I wrap everything um, really, really well, and the couriers that I use, I've used for years. So I'm, I'm pretty confident. I know accidents happen, but I'm pretty confident that they sort of know how to handle pieces. Um, but the customer was more than happy. She said, no, I said, please do not put anything on the on top of the piece, leave it for the full 30 days to cure, and she's absolutely fine. Um, if a customer wasn't, I'd just hang on to it for them because I do have storage facilities, so I can do that. Um, but the best thing to do is just be open with your customer um, and let them know, basically, and give them the option. Or, you know, just even if you just forewarn them. Um, but yeah, I do. I always I do sell pieces that uh, haven't reached its the full cure time. Hello, Jackie. Hello. Thanks for popping on. Did it come up and tell you that I was live in World Group? I wasn't sure if it, if it would give any notifications or anything. Um, so I hope that answered your question, Lorraine. Um, I hope so anyway. So like I say, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pop this on. So this piece was um, a bit dirty, a bit smelly, and it's obviously vintage, so it's mid-century. Um, you're welcome, Lorraine. No problem at all. So I just, I want to keep this wood. I want to keep it natural. I don't want to have to paint the inside because it's just going to add to the job. And I actually really like this wood grain. So this brush that I'm using is actually not available to purchase currently. Um, it's called La Petite. It's a Dixie Bell brush, as you can see from the hand on the Dixie Bell. Um, and it is a natural bristle brush with um, sort of like a pointed sash end, which is great for sort of getting in in the corners of stuff um now this brush is going to be available soon so you can purchase it soon keep an eye out on the dixieville website um oh you just happened to be scrolling i was there was my face you can't get away from me can you jackie um oh i just kicked my tripod sorry about that um so yeah this brush will be available on the dixieville website soon um it's absolutely gorgeous so it's amazing for waxing if you guys love your waxes this brush is awesome for waxes i'm going to show you today with big mama's butter um like i say it is oil based so if you want to clean this up afterwards um you're going to need some hot soapy water or a scrubby uh, scrubby soap which are available on the dixie bell website if you guys click the link where it says shop online that's an affiliate link and i get a kickback from each sale which is most appreciated um or if you are if you know you have a you can also search on the link below that for a local Dixie Bell retailer. But like I say, if you haven't got one, you're more than welcome to shop on the affiliate link, which like I say, I get a kickback for, which is awesome. So yeah, Jackie, the brush, honestly, it's gorgeous. It's so soft. And a lot of times, uh, natural bristle brushes are a bit stiff. This isn't, it's really, really soft. It's really smooth. And I absolutely love it. I am going to when they come out, I'm going to get another one. I'm going to use one just for Big Mama's Butter. Keep it for Big Mama's Butter. So that I don't have to keep swapping and changing. Um, so this brush will be available soon from the Dixie Bell website. Um, they have a couple of new brushes coming out, so keep your eye on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I apply it. So I'll show you on the door first. Sorry if my tripod's wobbling around a little bit. I've got two tripods. One's a bit dodgy but it gets down low and the other one is a bit higher, but I have to point it down and it's not great angle. Hello, Michelle. Hi. I've got some people talking to me. I was kind of here on my own for a little bit. So all I do is um, grab the Big Mama's butter, load the brush and just whack it on. Um, it just glides on. It's so smooth. And like I say, it's an all natural, eco-friendly product. The ingredients, it's made up of hemp seed oil, coconut oil, carnauba wax. Um, it cures, takes a while to cure because it is oil based, but it does go hard and it does offer some protection. Um, if you're using it over wood or paint, you can seal your projects with this as well. So if you have a painted piece and you don't want to use a top coat, a water-based top coat, you can use this, which is, it has been a lifesaver on a couple of projects, I'm not going to lie. So with darker colours, this is awesome. Um, so what you want to do is let it sit. Now, depending on how thirsty your wood is, it might be that it's a really sort of dry 
um, open grain and it sucks everything in and you probably won't get a lot to, to sort of wipe off. This one, I'm actually going over an existing finish, which is a like obviously a varnish. This has been cleaned with Dixie Bell's White Lightning prior to me doing this. Well, the, the whole thing was cleaned prior to me painting it as part of my prep. So it was cleaned with Dixie Bell's White Lightning and um but i haven't done anything to it other than clean it so you don't have to sand it down this product will sit on top of an existing finish so i have got a rag here i can see a few more people popping on say hello and i just wipe off the excess and that leaves a really beautiful luster on top of the wood that's it that's all there is to it so like i say it brings out the wood grain it protects it um it smells gorgeous and it also odor blocks so if you have got a sort of a musty cabinet that's obviously a bit vintage um some of them do have a bit of a whiff to them um this product is going to odor block it and it just smells beautiful and i i do quite often um use it on the inside of, of pieces and my customers have emailed me weeks months later and said that what is that stuff that you used on the inside because it smells gorgeous um so the the scent lasts for a while um you can get white lightning in the uk sharon yep you can you can now um so that's good news isn't it because it's fab um that's that oh tripods ever so wobbly <clears throat> Yes, if you go on to the link above my head where it says find your local retailer, you can actually click where you are, so Europe, US, wherever, and navigate to your local stockist. Most of them do post out in the UK, I know that for a fact. Um, and you can find, you can find White Lightning now. So that's good. I'm just going to go and remove the little bits of dust that have been trapped in here. <clears throat> Ah, what I didn't mention, sorry, was the actual colour name of this. So this piece, this product, prod, why can't I get my words out today? This piece, it, the colours are a little bit odd because I've got my lighting turned right high up. But this this um, Silk All in One Mineral Paint, this colour is called, I think you guys in America pronounce it conch. I say conch. I don't know, which one is the right one? Um conch i always say conch like the shell shell conch shell, conch shell you know what i'm trying to say anyway this is a beautiful muted sophisticated grown-up pink so you can see that there the color behind like i say it's a bit different on what well, to what you guys can see but if you pop onto my if you follow my facebook page you'll be able to see this project project when it's finished which i'm hoping will be today so that's that and still calling one mineral paint is only available from elite retailers in the us currently it's going to be on the website i believe on the 3rd of march um yes let me know if you've got any more questions about anything that i'm talking about today <clears throat> so again can you see the inside of there it's a bit it's a bit grim looking isn't it and there's a few scratches and stuff this stuff gets rid of surface scratches um, it sort of disguises them um, and if you've ever used this on raw wood you know how it brings out the grain the nice thing about this brush is that it's obviously tapered so it's got like a sash end um, so it fits in the corners. Is conch a little less beige -ish than tea rose? I don't know. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. It's the closest to... Tea rose is the closest colour to it in the chalk mineral paint range. But um, I'll, do, I'll, do a, I'll do a swatch test. I'll do two side-by-side. -side. It's very similar. It's got that sort of grown-up, dusky pink. Um, it's not like a baby pink, not like you know something that you see in a little girl's room um although you could use it in a little girl's room but it's a sophisticated muted pink it's it's 
It's gorgeous. It's one of my favourite colours in the silk line. I'm not going to lie. So this is the backing in here. Is um, it's just like a ply plywood type backing, uh, which is quite common on pieces of this era. Um, so that's going to really soak up this oil, this wax, this Big Mama's butter that I'm using today. Um, and I wish, uh, Jackie, if you use this, I literally want to put it like as a moisturiser on my skin. It smells so nice. Oh, absolutely love it. <clears throat> so it is just reviving the wood bringing out the natural wood grain which is quite a warm tone in this particular instance but this can be used over it can be used over raw wood grain as well um what's the name of the wax the name of the wax is big mama's butter um i'll recap a couple of facts for you um it's it's a very soft wax so it's not a hard wax at all can you see how See the consistency? It just melts away. Honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I say, it's one of my favourite products in the Dixie Bell line, and, and that's a tough call because there's a lot of them. Um, so the ingredients in here, it's a pot of basically lushness. So there's coconut oil, hemp seed oil, uh, carnauba wax. It blocks odours. It comes in three scents. So you've got unscented, orange grove, and Suzanne's Garden, which is more of a floral scent. This is citrusy, really, really citrusy and fresh. Um, brings out natural wood grain. You can use it to revive inside project, pro projects. Can't get my words out today. Um, you can use it to seal paint. So if you use chalk mineral paint in the Dixie Bell line, you can use it to seal projects as well. You don't need to use it over wood grain on its own. You can use it over the top of chalk mineral paint. Um, it can also be used if you've got any sort of squeaky drawers or drawers that are struggling to glide. It can be used on furniture glides to make those run gorgeously smooth again. It's oil based, so it's not water based. If you want to wash it up, you can use the soap and water or you could use the scrubby soap, which is available from the Dixie Bells website. Um, it's all natural and eco friendly and it comes in two sizes, four ounce and a 10 ounce. And this is the 10 ounce this lasts ages it goes a long way it goes such a long way so um i hope that recapped everything for you i hope um you haven't used it yet because you want to use it on your own stuff you don't want to share it i don't want to share it either <clears throat> So can you see how i don't know if you can the lighting is a bit a bit naff here you see how that's just refreshed that that cabinet right up um let me show you the inside of here let me just get rid of the dust so that's to oh, t rose you can't oh, not t rose conch conch however you guys say yeah the color's just not showing up on screen um there we go so yeah, these are obviously wooden draw glides that sit on wooden runners inside the piece. So what I do is I rub some Big Mama's Butter here and I also rub it on the glides that are inside the carcass of the piece and um, it just, it makes it super smooth. And because it's got that carnauba wax in it, I think I'm saying it right, carnauba, carnauba wax, um, I should know because it's in a lot of car products and I used to work in a car um shop basically um but, but it's got carnauba wax so it, it does cure hard so it won't rub off it won't stay soft it is perfectly smooth uh that's silk silk by name silk by nature what a beautiful paint it is gorgeous i love it so you just apply it relatively liberally with your brush let's see if i can get it at the right angle there we go i'm doing this left-handed as well Now, 
just evens out if there's any dry patches from sort of wear and tear. And I just run the wax in that glide like that. Uh, and that's not buffed off yet, but gorgeous shine, isn't it? Look at that, look at the difference. So that side doesn't have any, it's a bit dull, it's not too bad. But this side, wowza, beautiful. It is a cute mid-century piece, thank you. I don't usually dabble with mid-century stuff. Um, but when this piece came up, I was like, oh, that's cute. And then the veneer was shot, so I've had to remove all the veneer from it. Um, so that was that was fun. Nut. So just run it up and down the drawer. Run like that. Make sure there's a good coating on it. There we go. Shiny. Morning, 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 morning. Hello, thank you for popping on and saying hi. I know it's an odd time for a lot of you. Um, it's 11 a.m. here in the UK. So um, it's, uh, it's not too much of an odd time for me. But I know it's, is it quite early for most of you in the US, is it? <clears throat> I know when I do my lives on the main page, Dixie Bell main page, I think it's like 5 or 6 a.m. for you, some of you guys. So that's just a rag that wipes the excess off. And let's just shuffle my shuffle my bum back a little bit. There we go. Let's move you over this way. <clears throat> oh, it's evening where you are, is it? 10.30 p.m.? Well, thank you for popping on this evening. I still can't see it very well. There we go. Oh, a bit of a wobble there. So can you see these drawer runners here? These are really, really dry. Obviously, these have never been treated with a product. The drawer sides do have a kind of a varnish on, but these are really, really dry. So they're going to properly soak up anything that I put on it. So I just run the wax on the runner. I'll do this side. <clears throat> and because it's so dry, I'm not gonna take any excess off. Uh, oh, it's quarter past six in the morning, is it? Oh, so it's, oh, and you're 9.30 in ours, okay. Half five in Missouri. Wow, time differences like black my head, they really do. Um, just, it, it blows my mind and I don't know why. My cousin lives in Oakland, I think it is. Um, I've been to San Francisco when he lived there and the jet lag killed me. I was only little um, and I only went there once. It was a 13 hour flight. Um, I remember it, although I was, although I was a lot younger. Uh, so yeah. The time differences it's just it's amazing isn't it it's crazy so that just slides in nice so that's that and then this is the other door now this door was probably the worst so you can see some scratch marks on here and stuff they should disappear i'm hoping you're on the east coast as well are you I can't remember much about it, if I'm being honest. I remember we went to San Francisco because that's where he lived. We also visited, um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. We visited Yosemite, Yosemite. We visited there and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I'd, love to I'd love to take my kids back. All right, Jackie, I'll try, I'll try. Yeah, I should do an event, shouldn't I? Well, I'm back here at the same time next week. I'm gonna do four, I'm gonna do today, and then next week, week after, week after. Same time, 11 a.m. for me, so whatever time it is for you, <laughs> I don't know, I think it's 6 a.m. EST, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, six a.m. EST. So I'll be doing another one. I can make an event if you want, Jackie. I can make an event. You're not nagging. All right. Maybe you can 
you can be my PA. I need one. I need one. I need a diary. I need a PA. So those scratches have completely gone. I'm just really working it into where I know the scratches were worst. <clears throat> they have completely gone. So da -da, there we go. Um, Will that help with drawer sliding smoother? Yes, it definitely does. It really does help. Um, absolutely. Like squeaky drawers, one of them is, is squeaky and it, it, it really does work. Um, obviously, it's the combination of the carnauba wax um, and the oils in it that, that help it glide. So if you've got a, a squeaky drawer, um, perfect. Thank you, Fiona. I'll take that. My kids don't think I am, but I will take that. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you that pro that piece today and this little this little cute mid-century piece that I've nearly nearly done in the silk. You think you're just down the road from me? You accept? Whereabouts are you, Jackie? Where whereabouts are you? Um. So yeah, cute little mid-century piece. Just thought I'd show you Big Mama's butter, which is this. I applied it with this, which is a new brush coming to Dixieville soon called La Patite. Um, it has a tapered end, perfect for little corners. Um, it's also a natural bristle brush. If you use your waxes, this is an amazing brush for waxes, which I am a big fan of. Um, and that's about it today. That's all I've got for you. But I will be back next week. I'll do something different. Um, I don't know what yet, but I will do something different. And I would absolutely love it if you could give me a follow on my Facebook page. It would mean the world. I've got a little competition running as a thank you for some Dixie Bell products. So if you head over to my Facebook page, make sure you're following me. Enter the enter the competition for the giveaway. Um, it's eligible. Anyone can enter. You don't have to be in the UK. Um, so enter that. And um, I obviously, like I say, I'm a newly um, enrolled Dixie Bell brand ambassador. So I've been doing this since sort of start of the year, January. Um, so still finding my feet um, and all the rest of it. So it would mean a lot if you could pop over to my page and give us a follow. And um, you'll see me around in this group. I often share my projects and um, I'm always about commenting on other people's work because uh, that's what I do. So um, yeah, thank you for joining me this morning, this evening, afternoon, early morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for popping on and listening to little old me. It means a lot. Thank you. And um, I'll see you at the, sorry, uh, I've just seen someone at the page. It's tagged above my head. It should be tagged. It's called Faf Designs, F-A-F-F. -F -F. Um, it basically, I don't know, a lot of people ask me what that means. In the UK, it's basically, um, if you are doing a lot, but not getting very far productivity wise, you say you're faffing around. So, um, <laughs> That's how I started out painting furniture, just faffing around. So it turned into faff designs. So that's that. It's a little jokey name. I don't take myself too seriously. I absolutely love having a laugh. I love a bit of banter when I'm doing lives. Um, thank you very much. That's really kind. Um, love you, Jackie. Thank you for the um, support as always. Um, it's great to always have you on my lives. Um, so yeah, pop over to my Facebook page. Give us a like. It means a lot. And I'll be back next week with a uh, different project. I'll choose something different and show you from the um, Dixie Bell range. And I'll catch you then. See you. Have a good day.